Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of First Chapter Friday. This week, we're going to take a look at Dress Coded by Carrie Firestone. It is one of our 2021 Lone Star titles, and it follows this eighth grader named Molly, who starts to see that dress code is enforced unfairly at her school, and she starts a podcast to kind of bring these discrepancies to light. And unbeknownst to her, or not purposely on her part, she starts a rebellion at her school. And I know for many of our middle schoolers, dress code is a hot topic. So I thought you might enjoy this one. Here we go. Dress Coded, a podcast, episode one. This is my first podcast and I have no idea what I'm doing. I've only listened to two podcasts in my life. One was about famous guitarists and the other was about Southern cooking. Neither prepared me for what I'm about to say, but I feel like this was the best way to tell the real story about what happened to make the entire Fisher Middle School eighth grade hate Olivia Bonaventura. It's time for the truth. Me. My name is Molly Frost, and this is episode one of Dress Coded, a podcast, the real story behind the dress code disaster at Fisher Middle School. The whole incident happened in the Fisher Flower Garden, right next to the Mountain of Kindness Rocks, Mrs. Tucker's pet project. I was there. I saw the whole thing. And now I'm sitting here with Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Do you want to give the background? Olivia, you can give the background, Molly. Me? Are you sure? It's your story. Olivia, you were a witness. Me. Okay. Well, it all began last Wednesday. I woke up late in a panic because I was already missing first period and my mom was at an appointment. So I had to cut through the woods to the back path of our school. When I got to the garden, which for you non-Fisher listeners, was planted to honor the six Fisher graduates who died in wars. I stopped to tie my shoe. I looked up and that's when I saw you standing in front of Mr. Dern and Dr. Couchman. I still remember Dr. Couchman's face was bright red and Mr. Dern was pointing his finger at you and you were crying. Silence. Olivia, Molly, can you pause it for a minute? Off air. I'm already beginning to think dress coded a podcast was a mistake. Olivia seems very uncomfortable. Are you okay? I say, checking to make sure the recorder is off. She nods. Maybe we should just forget about this. Pearl says the story will die down by high school graduation. Olivia, I can't let everyone hate you for something that wasn't your fault. It's just not right. People need to know what happened. I don't say this to Olivia for obvious reasons, but when Mr. Dern and Dr. Couchman were yelling at her because of her royal blue tank top, with spaghetti straps, I witnessed a piece of her soul leave her body. Until that day, I had thought souls left bodies at the time of death all at once. But when I saw Olivia's face, her arms crossed in front of her, the tears streaming down her cheeks and the rose-colored hives blooming upward and outward across her chest, I knew everything I had ever believed about souls leaving bodies was wrong. Souls leave bodies in tiny gasps like when you hold the lip of a balloon tightly and let out the air a little bit at a time. That's why I texted her two days later. I had planned to talk to her at school, but she refused to go. So that was the first kind of technically two chapters of the book. And if you want to see where this podcast is going and what exactly happened to poor Olivia, then go pick up Dress Coded. It should be at your public libraries, your school library should have it by now. Check for it on Sora or Libby, or you can always go buy your own copy at local booksellers. Happy reading.